Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and learn how to install GSI's ROMs on your Galaxy S10, any of the newer Samsung devices, basically Galaxy S10, S20, the method is exactly the same, and if you're watching this in the future, it should also work on S30, S40, uh, Note 30, Note 40, you get the idea. By doing this, you can get rid of all the Samsung stuff, put pure Google back on your Android phone, and you can keep updating your phone even when Samsung stops updating your phone. For example, the S10 will probably get stopped updating after Android 11. You should still be able to install Android 12, Android 13, 14, 15. Um, so this is a great way to really get rid of Samsung, make your phone super fast, make the battery last a lot longer, and really customize it, make it more secure with the custom GSI. Anyway, let me show you how to do it. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so the first thing you have to do is unlock the bootloader. Um, in order to do that, you have to go into settings. All right, go to about phone and go to software information and go ahead and hit your build number a bunch of times until it says developer mode has been turned on. I already did it, so I don't have to do it. Hit the back button uh, twice and you should see developer options. Now go into developer options and make sure OEM unlocking is checked on. All right, and you will have to reboot into uh, the bootloader mode and also actually unlock the bootloader on Galaxy S10 through uh, the Note 20. This method will work on all the Galaxy S10 series. That's S10e, S10 I got here, S10 Plus, and then S10 5G. Also, all of the S20 series, uh, S20 Ultra, S20 Plus, and also the Note 20 and Note Plus, and any of the newer Samsung phones. The method is gonna be exactly the same. Starting with Galaxy S10, all the method is the same. Also, it's gonna work on all of the Exynos models. This is an Exynos International model. Also, it'll work on Chinese Snapdragon models. All right, you just have to find the right twerp recovery for Snapdragon. Uh, if you have a US model, unfortunately, they have not been supported. Uh, you couldn't unlock the bootloader since the Galaxy S8. So next time, just grab an Exynos model, or you, if you absolutely need Snapdragon, you can grab the Chinese Snapdragon model on eBay. Now, this whole tutorial I've already wrote down on my forum. The link will be in the description. Go here and follow steps one through eight, right? Which basically shows you how to reboot into a bootloader mode and then uh, fully unlock it. And when you do that, it's gonna erase everything on your phone. And when you reboot, you should be able to see OEM unlocking checked on like that. If you see that, you're ready to go. And also make sure you're on Android 10. All right, if you go into about phone software information, you should be on Android 10, all right? I haven't tried this method on Android 11 yet because there's no Android 11 for the Galaxy S10 right now. Uh, I do recommend just doing it on Android 10. Do not upgrade to Android 11. So you have unlocked the bootloader, then we're gonna go ahead and power off your Samsung phone, all right? Like I said, uh, it's the same for all the different phones. And you're gonna hold down volume down, Bixby, and power, all right? Or you might have to um, do volume down and the Bixby and then plug in the cable to your phone. All right, you should see this warning screen. Hit the vol uh, volume up and hit it again and you'll be able to see the screen a little better. And we're gonna go ahead and put this aside. Go to my written tutorial and you'll need to download, uh, first of all, Odin, all right? Uh, and also Samsung USB drivers if you've not downloaded that before. Also, Torp Recovery. Uh, for Galaxy S10 series, I have this special one that I added vvmeta.tar. Basically, you need to actually disable vvmeta and the twerp that's on XDA, uh, it's only the twerp. And if you install that, you will end up in a boot loop and it'll say, uh, it'll give you a VV Meta 8 error. So go ahead and download these if you have a Galaxy S10 series. If you have Galaxy S20, S20 Ultra, uh, this version here also has nulled VV Meta, so it's compatible. Also Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, uh, you can use that. Note 10, I'm not sure if it has VV Meta nulled in it. If you end up in a boot loop and your Samsung phone goes into download mode and gives you VB Meta error, you can just make your own. You can just repack the Tor recovery with vbmeta.img. I have a video on how to do that also if you guys uh, get stuck there. But basically the instructions are on here. You basically extract uh, the tar file from the Tor and then basically add vvmeta.img.lz4 file and repack it in tar using 7-zip. I'll put the vvmeta.img.lz4 file for you on the form here after I make the tutorial. Um, so you can do that yourself. 
if you happen to have a tour recovery that won't boot. All the ones posted on my site, uh, they will work for, with this tutorial flawless. Um, also, you'll need to download GSI if you just want to follow along because not all GSIs boot. Most of them should boot with this tutorial, but if you just want to follow along, I do highly recommend trying the Havoc ROM first. After you install that, you can go ahead and try other ROMs. Just go ahead and download the Havoc OS uh, official G apps. So the ones you want to download is ARM64 uh, with AB. All right, ARM64 AB. Or you can go ahead and download all of these different uh, GSIs here on XDA. All right, you can go ahead and download a CR Droid, a Pixel Experience, which is really good. Bliss ROMs is really good. But like I said, if this is the first time doing it, I recommend just trying following along the tutorial with Havoc so you master the art of uh, installing GSIs on your Samsung device. Also, these files, when you download it, they're going to be in this format. They're going to be in .img.xz format. Uh, make sure your extensions are on your Windows computer. This is only for Windows, by the way. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, go please Google it. You can download the 7-zip, install it, and you can go ahead and run the 7-zip program. And if you go into your downloads folder, browse your downloads folder, and then you can go ahead and click on the .img xz file and then you can just hit ex uh, extract okay and it will ex extract the dot xz into an actual img format all right this is the file you want this is the gsi image the file ending in img all right you will also need dm verity force encrypt this basically um, disables verification at boot all right you absolutely need that all right um so we did step three already i've downloaded all the files by the way all the download links uh, don't get confused on my site. They're all at bottom here where it says please wait five seconds to download and it will switch to click here to download. Very, very simple. And that will download all the files. So make sure you have downloaded all the files before beginning. Now, if you ever mess up, you can always reinstall stock firmware. I'll have a link to that also. Um, then you can go ahead and restore everything back to stock, uh, stock Samsung UI. But this will get rid of all your Samsung stuff, Samsung Pay, Samsung Health, anything that relies on Samsung firmware, it's gonna be gone, zip, nada. But it's gonna make your phone like 15, 20% faster in performance and also much better battery life because you don't have all this Samsung additives uh, bloatware. Also, if you need Google Camera, go ahead and download the Google Camera. This is an older G-Cam, but it works for all the Exynos. Uh, I'm still trying to find a good Google Camera that allows all the cameras working. Uh, but in the meanwhile, you can go ahead and download that. So next, what we're going to do is you should have downloaded the Odin program and it should have been in Odin 3 underscore 3.13.1 zip. Double click it, extract all, and it will extract onto a folder called Odin 3 underscore V313.1. Uh, there we go. Go into that directory. You're going to go ahead and run the Odin EXE program. Double click on it. And you should see a, a blue, light blue highlighted box like this if you don't see it if you never in install the samsung usb drivers go ahead and double click on the driver program uh run it and then come back and you should be able to see it if you still don't see it try unplugging and plugging your usb cable all right next we're going to go ahead and install twerp recovery go to ap and i'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads folder and i'm going to go ahead and download a t t galaxy s10 twerp.tar all right make sure it's the correct version for your model of uh, of Samsung phone, whether it's S20, Note 20, blah, blah, blah. Okay, you're gonna hit open and go into options and go ahead and unclick auto reboot so it makes it easier. And go ahead and hit start. And this will flash the recovery, the new twerp recovery. Now it won't reboot because we had auto reboot uh, checked off. And what you're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and reboot the phone by holding down volume down and the power. And as soon as it reboots, we're gonna go ahead and slide to the volume up, big speed and power. All right, so I'm gonna go hold, hold down volume down and power. All right, when the screen goes off, I'm gonna go ahead and hold down volume up, big speed and power. And I'm just gonna keep holding it down and let go of the power button after about a few seconds. And when you see that, you should be in Torp Recovery, Boom Shakalaka. Are you gonna go ahead to keep read only? And we're gonna go ahead and wipe, and we're gonna format data. This will erase everything on your phone, but you should have already erased everything on your phone when you unlock the bootloader. Go ahead and say yes. And this is because um, the Samsung firmware has encryption, so we have to actually format everything before we can install new things. Go ahead and hit home, go ahead and reboot, and go to recovery. 
and do not install. And this will reboot us uh, back into Torp Recovery. Okay, you can hit the power, power button to continue. You can just wait also. Okay, once back in Torp Recovery, choose Keep Read Only. And we're gonna go to our computer and copy over the ROM file, the GSI ROM, the, the, the IMG, GSI IMG, this file here, the file ending in the IMG. We're gonna also copy over Disable DM Verity. And also we're gonna go ahead and copy over the Majestic files because we want root. Uh, and also if you want Google Camera, go ahead and copy that also. You can use control key to uh, select the files, copy. And I'm gonna go into, uh, it might say Omni Beyond, um, whatever your, your, your Android code name is for your phone. It might not say Galaxy something. All right, that's perfectly fine. Do a right click, paste. And once this is copied over, we're gonna simply uh, flash the ROM and reboot first, uh, and then we'll see if it boots or not. All right, once copied over, you don't need the cable anymore. We can do everything on our phone. All right, we're gonna go into wipe, advanced wipe, choose Dalvik cache data and system. All right, anyone, anytime you wanna install a ROM, you can do that also. Swipe, hit home, go to install and install image. You should see the actual GSI image that you copied over. So for me, it's Havoc, choose system image, and this will install the GSI image. I just call it the GSI ROM. It should not take more than like a few seconds, like five, four, three, two, one like literally like six, seven seconds. Go back, hit home, go to install, and also install disable DM verify, uh, Verity. I always call it Verify, but it's actually DM Verity, force encrypt. This will basically disable um, boot verification. And also later on, when you try to install other stuff like Magisk, you're gonna be able to reboot back into Twerp and your system is not gonna be encrypted, all right? Go ahead home, reboot, system, do not install, and your phone should now boot into the new GSI that you flash. All right, you can skip this by hitting the power button if you want, or you can just wait around. And after this boots, I'm gonna show you how to install Magisk because on newer Samsung Galaxy S10, S20, uh, Note 10, Note 20, the way uh, the Samsung devices work, they don't have a RAM disk. So you have to install Magisk and you have to boot uh, your phone with the volume up a uh, big speed and the power. All right, if you don't do that, then you won't actually have root. You'll have Magisk installed, but it won't boot into a system. So um, if you boot normally, it'll boot fine just without Magisk uh, root enabled. So give it a second here, a few seconds, and um, your phone should boot up and boom shakalak. And you can see right away, I'm getting data. I'm actually roaming. Skip, continue. Let me just skip through this. Don't set any pass uh, pass codes yet. I'll do it like after everything has been installed and set up, because that could mess up twerp. So just skip through everything and then install Magisk and then do it. Now, if you don't need root, you're done at this point. Connect to the internet, sign into your Google Apps and blah, blah, blah. Now a quick fix, if the display size is wrong, go into settings of display, go to smallest width, and change, play with this value. Usually around 400 works pretty good. And that will fix how everything was looking very small. You can enable dark theme if you want. All right, that looks a lot better. Um, now, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and as far as cutouts for the Galaxy S10 series, and go into about phone, uh, go to build number, hit it a bunch of times until it says developer settings has been enabled. Hit the back button, go to system developer options, and I do highly recommend changing your default configuration to file transfer so it connects as a, a disk drive every time you connect it automatically. And you can also go down here and change the display cutout. Uh, I would just hide it and that just brings it a little bit under, or you can try other things, but I like to just hide it. That way the camera doesn't get in the way the front camera. If you have a S20 and or a Note 10 or Note Note uh, Note 20, you might be okay. 
you might you can choose another cutout hi guys so for the second part of installing root i'll have another tutorial because i ran into some trouble while making this tutorial but you should be good to go you should be able to install any gsi uh, on your samsung device again this works on all the galaxy exynos models uh, s10 and up also snapdragon chinese models you should have installed the gsi but again i'll have a separate tutorial for actually installing Majisk. Um, i'm just having some little trouble but but let me perfect the technique and uh, make the second part to this video and thanks for watching this video you should now be able to convert your samsung device into a pure android device with the gsi with everything working out of the box i'll have a bunch of more tutorials on how to make it even better uh with magisk modules you know stuff like viper for android for sound better google camera apps and all that good stuff so subscribe if you want to see all those new tutorials i'll be putting them on this side here uh this channel <laughs> and also check out my forum at forum.highonandroid.com that's where all, all my new tutorials are uh that's where you can take a sneak peek at all my newer tutorials uh, for example i already wrote the tutorial for this before i make the video um so you get all this stuff early have a great day and as always stay on android